So, I wanted to say thank you again for everyone who donated uh, to the Patreon account. I had six people donating various amounts for a total of $75 or $80 uh, monthly so far. So thank you, thank you for everyone who's donated and I will probably reference that account and uh, give the opportunity for anyone else to donate once a month or something like that, somewhere around the beginning of the month like right now is. So if anybody uh, does want to donate via Patreon, I will leave that link in the description box of this video. Thank you in advance and thank you again to everyone who has donated, it helps a lot. Uh, I never care that much about money, I'm not interested in having a bunch of it, but it is a necessity here in the Rome, so um, I will put attention to it where needed. Um, I also wanted to discuss something that I'm going to be doing starting today, and I wanted to invite any one of you who uh, has anything that they would like to either drop or add in their lives in your lives. So, back when I was in my self-destructive phase, which lasted quite a long time, it was roughly the 20 years decade of my life, so 20 to 30. Um, you know, I was going through all this dark night of the soul stuff and uh, soul searching and trying to figure out where I was, what I was doing, uh, battling with ego construct things, and uh, trying to juggle all of that without medication was difficult, and so I ended up medicating. And I did this through a variety of means. I actually read a book, and I've told you guys about this before, but this book was called How I Became Stupid, and it had this guy, you know, living his life and then finding that it wasn't working at all, so he wanted to find a different route. And so he basically became, he willingly went into these vices one of them being alcoholism and just all kinds of bad things that he willingly brought in or he tried to bring in. He wanted to become a master alcoholic or he wanted to get addicted to nicotine or he wanted to, uh, you know, all of these things, these negative things. And uh, he didn't actually succeed at any of them. He found that, you know, the alcoholics, there's an art form to alcoholism and whatnot, so it, it, was a, it was a very interesting story, and I actually did that in a sense with my own life, so I became an alcoholic, I got myself sort of addicted to nicotine, which is not the same as alcohol, but it's a similar kind of vice, um, and you know, I did various things, but long story short, I got out of the alcoholism as far as it being a medication and a negative influence on my life. I still drink occasionally, but it's not anything remotely near what it was before. Uh, but also, I started using nicotine in my early 20s. And when I did that, I was kind of, I was almost daring the substance to be able to hook me. And it didn't, for the longest time, go anything beyond, uh, distraction, I guess, but it did become prevalent in my life, and I still use it daily to this day in the form of nicotine pouches, and I can say that at the beginning, there was some sort of nicotine buzz associated with it, even though it was very slight even then, but uh, at the point that I'm at now, it doesn't change how I feel really whatsoever. I don't feel good or buzzed or happy when I'm using it and I don't feel like I need it in the physical sense when I don't have it. But at the same time, it has become a habit or a routine that uh, is kind of like breaking up the day for me currently. And uh, I have 
stopped doing it for long periods of time. I've stopped it for a whole month and there weren't any really negative physical effects. But every time I've stopped, I always came back to, well, I like doing it and blah, blah, blah. I rationalize why I want to continue doing it, even though it's not providing any noticeable physical benefit whatsoever. If anything, it's just a comfortable routine. So what I'm doing now, starting today, and I again invite all of you to participate in whatever way uh, you would like, I'm going to stop and this is what it looks like. My friend introduced me to what's called Swedish snooze. That was how it started. And now, you know, it's available in the States before I would order it, you know, from Norway or Sweden or whatever, Scandinavian uh, snooze stuff. Uh, but I'm going to drop that out for a month starting today. I'm going to drop out any carbonated drinks like sodas, uh, the only thing I'm going to leave is an occasional beer. I'm not going to go absolutely cold turkey on everything because I have done that before and that is exceedingly difficult and not it's not necessary to traumatize your system completely. Uh, so I will have the occasional beer, but as far as food, I'm going to eat what I consider to be uh, healthy and clean only. I'll be upping my, my water intake. I'll be upping meditation. Prayer and meditation to me are really the same thing. You're just commuting, commuting with higher power, spirit source, God, all that. Um, and this is also partially in preparation for the DUI hearing, which is going to happen at some point, and that is going to determine how my particular life, my particular life path will play out. And I'm okay with either way. If it does go through and I lose the license, then I'm, I'm okay with that. Uh, it's gonna be however it's supposed to be. So, but uh, preparing, sort of doing this sort of cleanse beforehand is gonna be beneficial. And uh, it's always good to shake things up anyway. So even if you don't have a direct rational reason or explanation for why you're doing it, uh, there, there will also be group energy participating. If you participate in this, you're going to be participating in pooling your energy with everyone else who's doing this at the same time. Uh, so it will be that much easier to uh, actually do it. Um, yeah, so that's about it. It's, it's, it's simple. You can do it however you want or you can not, of course. Uh, if you do want to participate, then I would like if you left in the comments what exactly you're going to drop or add. So you can add something to like add a workout regimen, routine, uh, add just something that you've always wanted to do but don't really do. Like, you know, if you want to expand socially, if you want to try a new hobby, anything, literally anything. It's just, this is just an opportunity to shake up your daily routine a little bit, uh, give you a little bit of a different perspective into your own life. So that's about that. Uh, let me know in the comments if you'd like to participate and how. And uh, thank you again for everyone who has donated uh, via Patreon and to everybody who will into the future. So, yeah. I'm on my way back to San Francisco to uh, do some stuff. Oh, also, I'm enrolled in Reiki 1 at the end of this month. So I'm very excited about that. Uh, I'll be putting my energy into guiding, helping, healing, energetic work uh, in that field with Eden. Uh, so that should be, I'm excited about it. It should be fun. And I'll keep you guys posted on how that's going as well. So hope everybody's doing well and uh, yeah. Peace.